Hey guys, in this video, we'll see how to save navigation history in Flutter, web. Flutter web app. And let's click on this option, navigation history. This screen shows nav stack and there are two tabs in it. First to last visit pages. Second tab as last to first visited pages. Some navigation stuff now. We'll go back and let's say we click on data table link by hooks finally slivers and code pin in back to the nav stack screen we see the order as data table hooks slivers and code pin and this current page navigation history the second tab here shows the order in the descending one so this is the last visited navigation history followed by slivers hooks and then data table for the implementation, we have a custom class called as navstack. This navstack class uses list queue, one of the properties of Dart collection. Push some items in this navstack and print the length. So we see the length as 3. For getting the top of the navstack, we call this top method. And for printing all the elements, we have to use fetch all. And after running this, we see current top as asim and elements in stack as hey there are seen. For popping the items out of this nav stack we call this method pop. Let's see what it prints after the pop. So first elements are hey there are seen. After first pop it's hey there. Second pop it's hey and after the final pop it's empty. As we saw previously how this nav stack was implemented. Let's see one more time with two pages only. Let's click on location followed by ml and we see the first to last visited pages as location ml nav history in the descending order as nav history ml and location that's it from this video guys kindly like subscribe if you find my content interesting and in case it helped kindly support thank you